Hey folks, it's Jern. Welcome back to Let's Play Earth of Fire and 4 with a little mod because today we're playing with Byzantium. So thank you to the mod maker and let's get going. Uh, basically, the only thing that the mod changes is that uh, Greece and some part of Turkey became Byzantium. And uh, the only real... <laughs> I, I don't know exactly how that will be possible in the time frame, but let's say it did happen in the 20s or something. And Byzantium has been restored. So what will we be doing in that case? Well, of course, we will want to become the greatest power ever. And uh, just looking at starting position, they're in very good position to do so. We have a lot of troops around. Let's just, we have 23 divisions, so let's just form them up into an army. And we got a couple of generals available. Some very good generals with mountain, hills, bonuses, commando bonuses. Huh. A lot of nice generals. So let's put in a four star. And let's line him up uh, all the army against Bulgaria for now just to build up some planning. And yeah, we basically what we will try to achieve is restore the Roman Empire. I don't know how likely that will be possible. But it seems like Byzantium uh, has the good strength to do it except maybe for manpower. It seems like we have no manpower to do so. Anyway, let's start with the usual research setup, so basic machine tools, construction, as well as uh, electronical researches, and we got some free civilians factory, and as I've been doing for a little while, let's just start building military factories. I honestly don't build uh, civilian factories anymore at this point, because most of the civilian factories we'll be getting and using are coming from, or conquest, or national focus, focky, or national focky, and otherwise we don't need to build them. They're too expensive. So let's just build military factories. Let's start packing up some a uh, lot of infantry weapons. We'll be needing them. We'll need some freaking artillery and uh, support equipment. And uh, as for naval dockyards, we have two. So let's start building destroyer, and we have two fleets, which I have no idea what they are. I got one fleet here. Okay, we got a two fleets here, so this one is the submarine, so let's just change that so I'm aware. Let's call it subs. Alright, let's see, we have one admiral, so let's create, ah, uh, we cannot even create a second one yet. But okay, we have one admiral created, so let's start raiding around the seas. Because we'll want to kill everybody that opposes us. And otherwise our troops will be setting, going into position against Bulgaria and as you can see the focus tree has been modified a lot I didn't really go through it at all but here we have uh, the standard you know more economical development with boat research here that will be very important to get eventually and otherwise uh, we have the nautical aeronautic here both of these seem to be uh, the normal stuff just change a bit. The, the usual national focus I don't get before it's too late. We got the land army one with some defenses, the Metaxas line, I'm not sure what that is. Central Macedonia, Pyrrhus, Trace, Trace, Adrianople. I don't think we'll need it. I'll probably be uh probably be too much on the offensive to need it. But we got a politic tree that we'll start right now and let's go back and basically the first objective we want to do is after getting politics and a lot of political power we'll go down and start reclaiming Tracia, uh, Moesia, where is Moesia? Drodjuda state is now a core, I have no clue where that is but we'll also reclaim Macedonia as well as Illyria, Croatian Serbia and uh, that will basically just let us reclaim all the Balkans so that uh, we Cock block a little bit of Italy, if you know what I mean. Alright, so that's very good. Let's see on uh, the resources. What do we have? We're producing some aluminium, some chromium, some steel, some tungsten. We have a good production. We just need to trade in some oil from the Soviets. Let's start trading with the Soviets some oil. And otherwise, we'll just be waiting for our, uh, our stuff to get through. So let's go speed 5 and let's start rolling that. Oh, wait a minute. Almost forgetting something here. And we're missing some light tanks. Alright, start building some light tanks in that case. And low manpower, I nah, will eventually solve that. But yeah, let's start, uh, let's see the formation here. Oh, that's actually 
not too bad it's not great but it's not too bad and same thing here very very large divisions and uh, that's really crappy oh horses here cavalry whatever let's start training some uh, infantry and tanks divisions and now we have no manpower left so let's just set them down into Constantinople Constantinople I don't know how do you how do you guys say it how do you guys just say that all right welcome to Byzantium whether you prefer to call them Eastern Romans Byzantine or even Romanian their achievement still echoes across the centuries the backstory to this spot is now what if they never fell okay that's what it's what if they came back Okay, okay, I, I, my, my North American reading skills, it's not what happened if they never fell, it's what if they came back. The end of the World War I saw the partitioning of the Ottoman Empire and a war between Greece and Proto-Turkey. Greek ambition clashed with the Turk nationalists and the Greeks lost. However, the Greeks came remarkably close to winning and this mod presents what 1936 and 1939 might have looked like if they did. Thanks narrator guy, no go away. Thank you narrator guy, now go away. Alright, so uh, let's see, we're working out our politics and we're non-aligned at the moment, we do have elections. We have George II as popular figurehead and it's giving us 15% national unity, that's very good. And we got Imperial Glory that gives some division recovery, division required for sending volunteers, oh that's very nice. And maximum to force plus 100 percent that's so great more diplomatic insult from rome and moscow arrive in constantinople today the italians hate the byzantine for being more roman than italy's romans while the soviet fear byzantine influence over the large orthodox christian population so the second rome find itself an enemy of both the first and third rome will these fears lie to disasters I got the answer and it's yes. Yes, that will lead to disaster. I swear that will lead to disaster. It's gonna be a huge war. I don't know who's gonna win. Let's hope it's Byzantium. But there's no clear mention of who's gonna win that war. Ah, good little sip of water and dropping water all over my keyboards. Do you guys remember when keyboards were not waterproof? God, I do. Because it was back in the time I did drop glasses of water into keyboards when they were like on a on other shelf just under the desk you pull out the shelf of the keyboard who does that anyway today I mean that's so archaic and let's go back to speed 5 yeah that was so archaic using a keyboard on a under shelf and dropping the water in it and, and just scrapping it up that sucks terribly meanwhile uh, we're still waiting our 120 points to start changing conscriptions can we actually change oh yeah we can go for volunteers and Spain is now at war can we even send some people here can I send you volunteers country doesn't allow us send to volunteers because uh, we need we need volunteer corps hmm Oh, it does give 100 points. Oh, it does give a lot of points. Capitalist ethos. Eh, might be interesting, but I think just going on our own wars will be more worthwhile. Okay, anyway, we'll see how it turns out for uh, Spain. Very early war, right? February 1936. It is a quite early war. It is still going on to Ethiopia. Ethiopia, what are you doing? What are you gonna do, Ethiopia? Uh, Mr. Haile Selassie. Alright, romanization of the Rhinelands completed. Uh, Ethiopia fell and politics has been completed. So let's go ahead and reclaim Tracia. And now uh, we can finally enact something good like uh, better, better volunteer corps. So we go from limited conscription to... No, wait a minute. That will be less. Oh crap. Yeah. We need to be either fascist, communist, or being at war with uh, about equal strength enemy. <sighs> yeah, that's not good. Can we change? We can't even change civilian economy because uh, we need at least 5% world tension. That's very bad. 
There's some artillery infantry uh, specialists, the rest are used as crap. And we get some army offense and defense, uh, I lead, whatever. Let's keep the military point in stock for now. Let's wait at least 5% world tension. That should, uh, that should get there very quickly. Actually, we'll probably, declaring on Bulgaria will probably give us a uh, Warifu enough to upgrade or conscription. How many total man power do we have? 266. That's that's good. We got 241,000 people in the army. God, we got a huge army. We got a huge army. We don't have light tanks. We don't have artillery, infantry equipments. We're really low on gear. All right, finally, first uh, research completed. Let's see. Ooh, mechanized computing. No, that's not good. Let's go and get some recon companies in here. Let's keep waiting. We're now 2% world tension. Very nice. I'll take another sip of water. I'm feeling like I have a dry mouth. I don't know why tonight. Actually, been a little while I haven't recorded anything. Probably like a week. I still have my episodes. No, not a week. Maybe a couple of days. Like four days, five days. So I, I did lose the drive a little bit. But seems to be back in business right now. Trying to put some emotions. Let me know what you think. Do you think I have enough emotion or sound like a monotone robot as usual? That's 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 really important to me. Really important to know what you guys are feeling like. And more important than that, well, not, not to diminish you guys, but can we finally get 5% world tension? What's going on? Come on, you did Rhineland 1%. Oh, why did he tell a piece of Abizdaba? That they took everything, these greedy bastards. Hmm. They think they can have a real Rome. I'm gonna show them who's the real Rome. Alright, so we have finished Rickling Trash here. Yeah? And, uh, friends, countrymen, I speak to you tonight with a heavy heart. The province of Greater Trash have been part of Romanian nation for centuries. Live and treasures spent in vast amount to protect and nurture these territories. No one can doubt or ties are many and deep. Yet these Romanian countries are playing. God. Uh, that, that's what I'm talking about. Yet those Romanian countries are claimed by another. Shall we risk war to restore them to their rightful fraternity? Are the orders which my follow worth or sweat, blood, and perhaps even lives? And yes, 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 it's worth it. Bulgaria gets the ultimatum. Let's see what they're gonna do. These, these freaking, these freaking. Oh, let's not reclaim that right now. Uh, let's go uh, mechanic. Mechanic. Sounds like a great mechanic plan. Alright, naval dockyards completed. Let's start building some convoys. Unlimited amount of convoys, of course. And let's see. What is Bulgaria's answer to our ultimatum? And they refused. So let's... We gain retake core state war goal. So we get instant war goal against Bulgaria. That's very nice. That's the kind of things I like. So let's get into a war. Let's launch the offensive right now. That should be easy, I guess. And we got one free research slot. Let's grab concentrated industry right now so our mechanic uh, national focus doesn't go to waste for useless research or whatever. And now that we're at war, can we upgrade that? Yes, we can go for extensive conscription. That will increase a little bit. A little bit. 271,000 people. Yeah, it did increase a lot. So let's go. Let's push that. Seems like uh, we're walking in like uh, there's no nothing there. We're just walking in. Alright, so we need, we need to walk in faster and lock them up, baby. No, no, no. Don't start. Don't start. Don't start doing dumb things, please. Let's go to Plovdiv. Oh, there was already someone there. No problem. Oh, god damn it, we have too many troops. But it seems like uh, Bulgaria stands no chances. We have very good troops. Impressively good troops. And wait a minute, I'm not even using my planes as usual. So let's assign my 150 planes to fight the enemy. Maybe some port strikes, why not? And we have air superiority in Bulgaria. Ooh, we did lose a couple of planes, but they're losing more, I guess. They only have like 30, 33 planes left. So we shall be good, but now we need to build some fighters. 
So let's line up some more fighters. Uh, not enough production, that's the problem. Oh, come on guys, get moved. Get moved to Sofia. Please move to Sofia. And you start attacking here. And you move to Sofia too in that case. So we have a somewhat large contingent of enemies surrounded here. Let's lock the rest of them up. Let's split apart their countries. They still have some supply. Oh, actually, wow. That was easy. Let's retake everything from Bulgaria and end this war. And everything's done, so let's done it. Good. Byzantium took everything, leaving nothing to the enemy. All right, let's see now. Our next focus will be reclaim Moesia or Macedonia. Befriend Bulgaria. No, no, I'm befriending. So we can go for Moravia, Montenegro, Macedonia. And, uh... Slovenia. Really? We can go up to Slovenia. That, and that seems to be a bit abusive. So where is Dobruja? Where is that? Macedonia is here. Moravia, Montenegro. So we can actually line up against... Oh, that's Dobrugia. That means I could get into a war against R R Romania quite fast if we do grab that and it leads into a war. So yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna pick after. So let's line up against Romania. Let's get ready uh, to invade everything as usual. And uh, we'll just a bit the way they go around here just so we don't <laughs> attack directly into the carpets and mountains and that should be good and uh it seems like it will be enough for another episode folks so this is jay hopefully you've enjoyed and if you did don't forget to drop a like a share and comment and make sure to go watch that mold and try it yourself see you next time